Thank you for tuning in. I really miss seeing you in person. I love the way you bound down the stairs with excitement from the church to the church school, anxious to talk to your friends about what exciting things have happened in your lives the week before. But for now, we'll meet this way, and hopefully again soon we'll be back together again. So we're going to start with our greeting this morning, which you've done the past couple of weeks. And the greeting is told best by two people, between two people. The first person says, the Lord be with you. And the other person replies, and also with you. And we like to do it with sign language as well, because God likes us to worship with our whole bodies. And God likes to hear children in all languages. So do you remember the sign language? Let's do it together. We start with our hand up on our left shoulder. And we say, the Lord be with you and also with you. Wonderful. Should we do it one more time? Let's. The Lord be with you and also with you. That's great. And now we'll have our story. The story this morning is called The Wise Man and the foolish man. I'm sure we've all done some wise things and some foolish things in our lives. Let's see what this story tells us. I wonder if this might be a parable. Parables are precious, like gold. And this is gold. There's another reason it might be a parable. It looks like a present. And parables are like presents because they've been given to us. They can't be taken from us. They can't be stolen. They are ours. Another reason it might be a parable is it has a lid. And parables seem like they have lids because when you open them up, there's always something wonderful inside. Let's see what we have inside. In color. It's not really brown and it's certainly not white. It's something in between. I bet you know the name of a color this could be called. What else do we have? This is very dark and it's irregular too. I'll put it here. Once there was a man who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. His name was Jesus. People liked to listen to him tell stories. Jesus would tell stories to teach people how to live. One day when Jesus had a crowd gathered and was telling them a story, this is what he said. When people listen to me and live how I tell them to live, they are like the wise man who built his house upon a rock. And when a dark cloud comes overhead and a storm starts to build with the rain falling and the floods beginning to rise and the wind beating and blowing against the house. The house does not move. It's very secure. And the people inside feel very safe. But Jesus said, continuing his story, when people listen to me, but do not live how I want them to live, they are like the foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And then, when the dark clouds come overhead and the rain begins to fall and the wind begins to blow and beat against the house, the house gets damaged and eventually destroyed. I wonder what this rock really is. I wonder what it takes to be a wise person. 
wonder if you know somebody who's a wise person. inspired by the story and would like to draw a picture or do a craft, I'm sure you've imagined something, then you can do, take a picture for us and send it to the church and then we can share it with everybody another week. And now I'm going to light our Christ candle. And as I light this, boys and girls, I remember the times we would light it in the classroom and you would all want to light the candle. And even more so, you would all want to dis extinguish the light. I remember some days we kept your parents waiting because you were all having your turn extinguishing the light. So let's say a short prayer together, shall we? Loving and gracious God, bless all the young children, keep them safe. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the homes they have for the parents they have to look after them, the food they have to eat, the pets who give them love, and help us remember that not all children are so fortunate, and help us to think about them as well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So boys and girls, I'm going to extinguish this light so that we have light not only here, 